Miss Hoffman. I am the technology integration specialist. And I wanted to show everyone how they can find their um, Ohio State test scores on PowerSchool. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. I'm also going to go through a new graduation requirements website that we have. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is, of course, log into your PowerSchool account. So here we are on the landing page of PowerSchool. And what you want to do is look here at this navigation bar on the left hand side, and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says graduation pathways. Here is the graduation pathways page that has all of your scores from your Ohio State tests. If you're a senior looking at this, you should have completed all of your Ohio State tests. So all of your scores should be in there. The only thing that might be missing would be government if for some reason you are taking government right now as a senior, but most of you should have finished government your junior year. Now notice they are grouped into subject area. So you have math, English, and science, and then you have those tests underneath. Now to get that green check mark right here, you need to have met your minimum, met or exceeded your minimum. So you see there's six out of four points total for math. So you have to have four points in math. So we've got a check mark, green check mark is always a good thing. And then down here for English, you have five out of four, so you met that. And then science and social studies, 12 out of six, knock that out of the park. And then you have a total point here, 23 out of 18. And if you notice, there's a little green check mark right here, and it's right next to Ohio State test, right there in the middle. That shows that you have um, met everything. If there's a little X here or a little X anywhere on uh, next to the subject area, that means that you did not meet the requirement. So for all of the graduation requirements, there is some level of competency that you have to meet. So that is how you um, can check your competency level based on the Ohio State test scores. Now let's look at the graduation requirements website. So I am on the Whitmer page here and I'm going to scroll down here to the counseling center. And then if you see here, there are different things under the Counseling Center and we want to go to Graduation Requirements. And then right here, you can click on this Whitmer Graduation Requirements graphic right here. It says click on the image below. So we're going to click there and that will take you to the website. Now there's different pages of the website. There's an overview. There's class of 2021 and 22, class of 2023 20, and beyond, and then we have the graduation seals. So this goes over just overview of graduation requirements. And I know that your school counselors have talked to you about this, but I did want to just briefly go over this resource. I'm not going to read this whole thing to you. You can find this and look at it yourself. There's three things in each graduation requirement plan, covering the basics, showing competency, and then demonstrating readiness. So the covering the basics is earning a minimum of 21 credits in specific subject. Showing competency is earning points on Ohio State test or showing college and career prepar preparedness. You can actually check that on your power school. So I'm going to jump back to power school and I'm just going to scroll down here a little bit. So you can see college admission tests. So we have um, this person's ACT score right here and you can see English did not meet the requirement, but in math, they did meet the requirement, but in reading, they did not meet. So if that would be an area of competency that they would want to use toward their graduation requirement, that would not work. They cannot use these scores. All right, so let's look at the specific graduation requirements. So if you're a junior or a senior right now, you're gonna be looking at the class of 2021 and 22. So let's click on there and take a look. The first thing you're going to notice on this page is this infographic right here. And I'm going to pop this out. So the way that you can see it as a full page is you just click on this little 
um, pop-out menu. So here you have your graduation requirements sort of laid out in pictures and what you need to do. It's very visual, one piece of paper. Um, so you can look at that and how you cover the basics, show competency or demonstrate readiness. Now remember, this is just class of 2021 and 2022. Now let's go back to the page so that, so within that website, that's that document. But then it goes into more details on covering the basic. And then here's your step two, showing competency options. And then here you can click on this little shark tooth to get more information, industry recognized credentials, more information, college and career readiness. And you, there are even links within here. So earn a remediation free score. So if you click on that link, it will take you to what the um, most recent remedial free score is for the ACT. It, this outlines the alternative pathways of College Credit Plus. Once again, you have this little carrot that will uh, expand these options. So that is class of 2021 and 22. Here's class of 2023 and beyond. So once again, the first thing you're going to see is a infographic that outlines the graduation requirements in pretty pictures. And this is laid out a little differently. So you have first, which is the basics. Second, this, these are all the different ways that you need to show competency. And then third are these earn two graduation seals. Next one is show competency. This is earn a competency score on algebra one and English two. So notice that's a little different for class of 2023 and beyond. That's why it's so important that you are going to this website and you are researching and seeing what you need to graduate. College Credit Plus is another option to show competency to complete a College Credit Plus course or military enlistment. And then the third thing you need to do is to earn your two seals. Once again, if you scroll down, it goes into more detail on the different um, requirements. And right here, real big, starting in 2023, you'll also have to earn two seals. If you notice up here at the top, there's a whole section on graduation seals. So let's click on that. And here is the graduation seal section of the website. Let's look at the science state seal. And here it says a student can earn a score of proficient or higher on the biology end of course exam, earn a score that is at least equivalent or proficient on appropriate AP exams, or notice that it says, or you do not have to do all three and then earn a final grade that is equivalent to a B or higher in an appropriate class taken through college credit plus. So those are a way that you can earn that state science seal. So I hope that you take time, maybe if there's time left in this class, you can take some time to go over the Whitmer graduation requirement website. Once again, it is in the um, Whitmer website. It's in the counseling center section and it's graduation requirements. And I also encourage you to go to your PowerSchool account and see how you're progressing with the Ohio State test. So as you get older, you want to take responsibility for your education. So this is a way that you can go into PowerSchool, see how you are doing. And then if you have questions, definitely make an appointment with your school counselor or ask one of the teachers or talk to your parents and make a plan for how um, you are going to increase your scores if you need to. All right, thank you very much. Have a great day.